Everly's, it's Maddie and Everly, and today is just going to be a little story time. If you didn't already know, that I went to court with her dad to establish paternity and to get child support. I waited about a year to get the court date, and that was actually today. When I'm uploading this, it won't be the same day, but you get the gist of it. But I woke up at about 7 o'clock this morning and got ready for court. I'm just gonna tell y'all what happened, what the deal is, and yeah. And if you haven't already noticed, I got some lighting. Um, now you guys can actually see the mess that is my face. So yay, no more filming in the dark so I can hide my features. Um, me and Everly actually have, like, I'm fighting off a stomach virus and she ended up getting it. So she threw up last night, not last night, she threw up the night before. And she's been having, like, diarrhea. Gross, I know. But that's the deal. So I was praying that I wouldn't get the stomach virus before court so I could actually like go and not be vomiting every five minutes. But luckily I did not get yeah. sick. My body was able to fight it off. So that's all fine, fun, and fantastic. But let's get into the actual video now. <laughs> we got there just on time and as we were like getting the stroller out of the car and stuff, we saw her dad pull up like right next to us. He was with his um, stepmom and real dad and then his mom ended up showing up later and I'm pretty sure she like does not like me so. Okay but yeah they pulled up like as soon as we got there so I'm like oh my god mom we have to walk fast I don't want to share an elevator with them because we thought that she's picking on my, on my bracelet here here you go because like we thought our courtroom was on the fourth floor we thought that's where we were going because our paper said it, the room was on the, like, it said we were going to the 324th District Court, and that was on the fourth floor, but it ended up that we had to go on the first floor, but I'll get to that later. So, we were walking into the courthouse. I could barely freaking walk because I suck at walking in high heels. I thought I was going to fall down, but we walked in, and we were just, like, looking around for the room because my mom's like, I swear it's on the first floor, Maddie. And I'm like, Mom, I read online, it's the fourth floor. I mean, I have a screenshot of it saying that it's the 324th District Court. So we went up to the fourth floor, we went into the 324th District Court, and um, they ended up telling us we were supposed to go down to the first floor. Sorry, Mom. <laughs> we ended up sharing an elevator with him and his parents, which was really, really awkward. I was just kind of like standing there, because I have really bad anxiety, so I didn't really know what to do with myself. I just kind of stood there and talked to Everly, <laughs> um, but that was really awkward. He didn't say anything, I didn't say anything. I think it's just like, it was the first time we've actually seen each other in person in almost two years. So it was definitely awkward. We ended up going down to the waiting room, we checked in and they said there's no babies allowed in this room. And my little brother was there too because we don't really like leaving them like in daycare or anything. I've never left Everly for like, anything because she's still exclusively breastfed um and my little brother is just insane and i'm pretty sure he would get kicked out of daycare but they said there's no kids allowed in here so you guys can wait in this room um and we'll just call you back when it's time he ended up going off with his mom and we went into this little room there was like vending machines and a few little tables and chairs and we sat in there his um stepmom and dad were actually in there so we got to chat with them for a minute um and I got like some chips and cookies and that was my breakfast. <laughs> Everly was really really fussy because obviously she's getting over a stomach virus and it was really early in the morning. The shirt I was wearing was like, okay, so it had two straps that go up and it was a romper. So it was like one piece and these were like really tight so I couldn't nurse her right. Like it was really hard to get out a boob in nurse. But I finally ended up getting one out to nurse and I like covered her up a little bit because I wanted to be respectful since it's like a courthouse and like all of my boob was exposed due to the shirt. <laughs> Y'all know I'm all about women's rights and breastfeeding in public but that time I covered up. So they ended up coming and getting us. Um, her dad was waiting in a different waiting area with his mom and I'm not sure who else was with him. I think it was like his aunt. They came by and we're like okay I'm guessing it's time to go in. So we went back in this little room and I honestly had no idea what to expect because I didn't know if it was going to be like 
full blown court, like judge with a hammer, or we're just gonna like go into a little room. We ended up going into a little room. Well, they said he has requested paternity, so we were gonna do a little DNA swab. They took a picture yeah. of me, and I really like a little Polaroid. And they had already taken a picture of him. I saw it like on the desk with the little papers. They swabbed both of her cheeks. I had to do it actually. I swabbed both of her cheeks. They just like handed me the Q-tips and I gave them back to them. And then they swabbed my cheeks too, which I thought was kind of weird because like maternity tests don't usually happen. I mean, she came out of me. I don't know why I need that. But I guess people are just crazy and they try to claim children that aren't really there. So they test them like... I thought that was kind of wild that they had to do that but I swabbed both of my cheeks and then I gave them my thumbprint and my little brother was there too and he's like I want to swab my cheek too so the lady was really nice and he she let him swab his cheeks so I thought that was pretty cool so after that um we were pretty much done she told us that we were gonna have a follow-up on October 31st so in ha on Halloween I have to go back to court and that's gonna like be the official hearing of the paternity results, which we all know what they're gonna be. Happy Halloween, you're a daddy. Yeah. But we're also gonna, it's also gonna be like the date yeah. where we can discuss child support, yeah. medical support, all that stuff. I do think he should be partially responsible for like medical bills and stuff. You know, that's just yeah. part of being a dad. And we'll also discuss like custody. I don't think any like overnight stays are gonna happen because she's still exclusively breastfed. And I, I'm like, I do attachment parenting, if you've ever read about it in like doctor series or something, that's what I do. So she doesn't like to leave my side for more than like five minutes, but yeah, so I don't know how that's going to work out. Hopefully like when she visits, like I can just come or <laughs> you can come over here to see her, I don't know, because she is attached. Because like she's never really met him ever, I mean she saw him today. But, like, just in the elevator. But, yeah, I don't know how that, all that's going to work. But we go back on October 31st for um, the actual hearing. Today, it was just a paternity test. Another thing I wanted to say is it took a ridiculously long amount of time to get a court date. Like, I requested child support December of last year. Obviously, last year because it hasn't been December yet this year. But that's when I requested it, so that's almost... Well, I was about eight months pregnant at the time, so that's almost a year. I think it's crazy that it took so long. Obviously, we had to go through the government, but it still took a really, really long time, which sucked. But I'm so glad that um, we finally got the test done, and we're going back in October, obviously. And it's just a huge weight off my chest that we finally got that done. For me, honestly, this was the day that was supposed to change everything. I don't know if that makes any sense, but, like, for him to see her and, like, I don't know. I felt like that would change a lot of things. Because when you see your baby in person, like, rather than in pictures, I felt like that would have a different effect, you know? I haven't talked to him since court or anything, though. But, like, I know he, like, we went into the elevator before him. We were in the same elevator as I said before. And I just saw his face, and he was like, oh, like, I don't know how to describe it, but I know he saw her. And I really do think that he knows she's his deep down. So hopefully there will be less drama, because I, I just want what's best for little Miss Everly. Right, girl? Yeah, but on October 31st, yeah. we go back. Maybe I'll do a story time about that. Or Honestly, like, I know what the results are going to be. Unless, like, Casper the Horny Ghost came in and pregnated me in my sleep. It's his. Maybe I'll do a video um, and kind of, like, talk about when she meets him. Or maybe I'll actually video that. I feel like that would be kind of cool for her to look back at and me to look back at. I guess that is it for this video. I just wanted to give y'all an update. I have to have this video up by tomorrow, so tonight is going to be a lot of editing. I love y'all's support. Last night, um, a lot of you were like wishing me luck for court, and y'all's little fan pages are so freaking cute. I read the paragraphs y'all wrote, like saying good luck and everything, and they brought tears to my eyes, and I also have so many amazing friends that texted me or Snapchatted me this morning and just told me good luck. So if you're watching this and you did something like that, thank you so much. You don't know how much, 
how much it means to me. That is it for this video. Make sure you like this video and subscribe to our channel. My social medias will be in the description below. As always, I really wish you go. She's like trying to get this bracelet. I post new videos every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. But actually comment video ideas on this video because I am running out. What do you guys want to see? Comment what you want me to do for the next video. And I will see you guys next time. Bye. Say bye, Everly. Say bye-bye. Say bye.